All right, welcome back to the workshop. Yeah, I'm wearing the same clothes in the last video because it is the same day. That's right. So we got it flipped, got the legs and stretchers all taken apart now and sanded up. And we're sanding the top side of the table. Uh, you can see the pencil marks here I was talking about in the last video. This half is uh, 120, this is still 80, so we'll go through and sand, get all the pencil marks off. And uh, and then jump up to the uh, 180 and continue that way until we get, I think I'll stop at 220 and then we'll be ready for a finish at that point. So um, let's get sanding. crazy beard after wearing that mask all right that didn't take that was only half the table for this little clip but uh did the other half or the first half do you hate when you get your your specs uh covered in dust it's just a nuisance uh yeah there we are that's a 120 that's a 120 120 sanding so we'll, uh, look at that. That fills right up with the dust. We're gonna cheat a little bit. Let's do something here. I just want to see if this shows up on camera. We're gonna sand uh, to a 180 next, but I want to do this. And we'll see. It's a, it's a, it's like a primer. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It just doesn't show up on the camera like I'm, like it does right in person. Uh, maybe we can get it. See that? Look at that. Let's see if we can get away from the shadow. There we go. My lighting sucks. Definitely not the professional photog but you can see it's got like a little bit of a shimmer going on there like a galaxy type of thing milky way style anyways that's a little primer on what it's going to look like with a finish on it the wood really pops too this chestnut so uh we'll slap the pencil marks on it and uh Sand to a 180 next. That's the game plan. Serious 
beard itch after wearing that mask while sanding. So I don't know if you could tell because I'm going to do like a time lapse. Uh, but it's definitely with the 180 grit, that pencil trick really does work. Obviously, you got to take your time and let sandpaper do the work, but it takes much longer with the 180 grit to get the pencil marks off, which is really the point of it. You're spending more time sanding, getting to a finished state, to a very good finish on the wood. Um, and uh, this sucker is baby skin smooth. Uh, so what what I'm gonna do? That was 180 grit. Here it is. You really can't tell, obviously, but uh, on the camera. But that's 180 grit. What I'm gonna do is wet it out. I don't like that. Some odd markings over here on this section. I, I can only imagine because you picture this is a knot stick coming off. It's almost like uh, they call it curly. These little lines, almost like tiger striping. But it's really it throws me off because I look at it sometimes and think that it's a chatter mark from the uh, hand plane, but it's not. It's uh, the markings in the wood. So there's some really cool markings going on on these boards. You can see more right here. It looks, hey, it's hard to see. Yeah, see those lines? Like it throws you off. You think it's chatter marks from the hand plane, but it's not. It's curly markings. I gotta sand a little bit more because I can see pencil line here that didn't really get off. I wanted to get some video of this, wetting it out before uh, the final sanding and uh, you get a sense on what it will look like when it's got a finish on it. I think it there's some some of these epoxy fills are really cool. That one really it's like a galaxy look to it. This one's got a lot more black in it. This one as well. This one's pretty, pretty cool. The shadow sucks. Really cool stuff. This one's neat too. Anyways, just wanted to get a video, some video of uh, footage of it wet out so it's wet out before the final sanding the point of that is the 180 is very smooth to the touch feeling so what this the wetting out does uh it raises the grain just a little bit raises it up and then when you come back with that 220 and knock that down sucker is melted butter smooth you know what i'm talking about right oh yeah uh i <laughs> I don't know what that was. That's a little creepy. Uh, anyways, that's the game plan. We'll finish up for tonight. Uh, let this dry up overnight, do all that. It's not soaked, it's just we just wet out the top a little bit. Uh, come back tomorrow, do a final sanding on it, and uh, should be ready for a finish.
morning, day two. Well, it's day two. It's uh, the next morning, basically, after uh, almost noon here. Uh, we wet it out last night. We let that dry. It's definitely a lot rougher when you come and feel that after it dries. Um, and so we knocked it down. We had the orbital sander, little Makita over here. The whole thing, we put the pencil marks on like we did yesterday and uh, whole thing with the 220. And then what you just saw was basically hand sanding it with the same grit, 220. And, uh, you know, maybe it's overkill, but I like to finish it up after the orbital sander because sometimes the orbital sander can still leave, you know, it, the orbital sander's not only moving this way, it's almost like little figure eights type of thing. It's moving one of these numbers as it's rotating. And sometimes it can leave uh, little swirl marks. And so what I like to do is come back with a hand sander with the grain and, and do a good hand sanding the whole table. And so that's what we just did, this whole thing. Of course, it's dusty, but uh, this thing feels fabulous. Uh, this thing's gonna really pop, I think, when we put the finish on it. Um, so at this point, we're done. We're ready, <laughs> we're ready for a finish. And of course, I'm waiting for the finish to get delivered. I ordered it. Uh, it it's due to get here, I think, um, Wednesday maybe. Uh, you know, so knowing me, Wednesday night after work, I'll be in, be in here slapping a finish on it. Uh, what else? All the, the stretcher and the legs are ready to be finished as well. I'll end up, I'll put it, uh, the same finish on these stretchers and Osmo is the top. Same finish on these, these cross members. But for the legs, uh, just because it's tight quarters in here and trying to get that finish in there is just a pain in the ass. It's much easier uh, to just spray these. So I got a satin finish uh, poly and I'll spray those. Those are ready to go sprayed at this point. So I'll clean up a little bit in the shop, uh, try to de-dust. De it's tough in a garage, you know, I've got the shop vac over here with the little cyclone deal, right? Which is hooked up to the sander and it really keeps it down. Then I got this air filter up here, but that's really all I got going. I mean, it, it, there's just dust everywhere though. It's not like I got like a whole ha uh, whole dust collection set up in here, although that would be sweet. Uh, so any manufacturers out there looking to promote uh, yourself with the whopping 32 subscribers that this channel can bring, I tell you, tell you what, we sell the shit out of some uh, shop vacs. Uh, no, seriously, uh, if we get up to 50, maybe then you should reach out to me and uh, we can really sell some things. Anyways, uh, the sucker is ready for a finish. Clean up, uh, dust it off with the, uh, the shop vac with the brush on it. I'm gonna get some of these little, you can see these like tan dots in here. There's a couple other ones, but that's a uh, dust in what was an air bubble uh, that got produced and I just missed it, popped it or didn't pop it. Uh, but the shop vac and then maybe like a little uh, push pin or a glue brush. Sorry, my camera work is crap today. Uh, and just clean that stuff out. This way when you put the finish on it, 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 it's nice and you don't have dust trapped in there. Put in a finish over it. Anywho, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Even if you don't, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment if you don't. And uh, I think the next video will be all about putting the finish on it. And then uh, also probably the delivery. Kind of finish it up. Wrap it up with... Uh, in their house, I don't know, uh, room situation, lighting, all that. Maybe get some nice, like, dramatic, really nice, like, architectural digest photos. Probably not. 
it, that won't happen, I'm sure, but uh, we could think big anyways. Anyways, thanks for joining, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. We'll catch you on the flip side.